Hey everybody, this is the swipe from my last video. It turned out pretty cool. Pretty pleased with it. Over here you can see a little bit of texture um, in the paint, but this is wood so I would be resining it and that texture would just be hidden um, under the resin. So today I'm covering up this painting and doing a mallet smash. Let's see. There we go. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, so this is my second video being back. It still feels weird to be down in my studio painting. Um, but <clears throat> feels good. I am shaking up my base coat. I should have done this before I turn the camera on because this lid is hard to get off. Ooh, there we go. So this is house paint with Floetrol and water. all the way around. I can see there are some goobers in there, which doesn't surprise me. Um, and some of the paint in there has been in there for a little while. torch these bubbles out. It'll help me see if there's any more chunks and it does not appear to be. And put the lid on the white real fast. Before I forget, so I'm going to start with, I've got a yellow. Ah, my yellow has a goober. yellow. And I've got Indian yellow, which I don't even know if I can get, hopefully I can get enough to go into all three puddles. Looks like I'll be able to. Okay, so that is empty. Some cockmill red. I was going to use blue, but blue feels too dark. So I think I'm going to use bright aqua green. Shake, 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 shake. Trusty mallet and that smash. Ah. Smashed on my leg. Hmm. 
open it. See what I think. I think it needs some flingies. Come on. There we go. Flingies were just what the doctor ordered. It was the name I was at PT this morning, so that's probably why I'm thinking of doctor's offices. <laughs> so let me take my gloves off so that I can try to take them off so I can reuse them. Okay, and I will bring the camera around. The colors look great. Looks kind of like aquatic. And there it is in the hole. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.